juggernaut! Marvel's powerhouse villain with a knack for chaos and a history intertwined with the X-Men and Deadpool universes. Could he get a standalone juggernaut film? Join us as we unravel the origins of this iconic character, explore the buzz about his return in Deadpool 3, and even speculate on the possibility of a future juggernaut movie, which seems very likely given his connections to multiple main MCU characters. Now, if you don't know about the Juggernaut yet, let me fill you in. The Juggernaut, or Kane Marco, is this Marvel dude who's crazy strong and practically indestructible. He's a total powerhouse, and you can't miss him with that cool helmet and huge frame. He's like one of the big baddies everyone knows in the Marvel world, especially in X-Men comics. But what makes him even more interesting is something else. Kane Marco's got a bit of a family drama going on. His folks split when he was just a kid, and sadly, his mom passed away not long after. He bounced around different boarding schools but kept getting kicked out. Then, things took a wild turn. His dad's rich buddy, Dr. Brian Xavier, kicked the bucket in an accident. Dr. Marco ended up marrying Brian's widow, Sharon Xavier, mainly for her massive fortune. They set up shop in her fancy Westchester County mansion. And get this, after Kane got booted from school again, Sharon decided to bring him into the mix at the mansion. So here's the scoop on the family dynamics. Dr. Marco was all about Charles Xavier, his stepson, who was this smart and nice guy. But on the flip side, Kane, Dr. Marco's actual son, got the short end of the stick. They didn't get along, to put it mildly. Kane would bully Charles, and behind closed doors, Dr. Marco wasn't exactly treating Kane with kindness either. Now, here's where things get wild. Charles, the brainiac of the family, discovered he had these telepathic powers when he was just a kid. Around 10 years old, he accidentally tapped into Kane's mind after one of Dr. Marco's beatings. Charles couldn't shut it off and got a front row seat to all of Kane's pain and turmoil. Kane, feeling exposed, thought Charles was reading his mind and uncovering his secrets. I know, talk about a complicated family setup. All right, that you are filled in. Let's dive into the Deadpool 3 buzz. So this movie's got everyone on the edge of their seats. It's the third flick for our cheeky anti-hero in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Guess what? Hugh Jackman strapping on the claws again as Wolverine, and Ryan Reynolds is back doing his Deadpool thing. Now the casting news is getting spicy. Emma Corrin's stepping in as the main baddie, and there's some hot gossip about the Juggernaut making a comeback. Remember him? The X-Force crew from Deadpool 2 is also making a return appearance. As for the plot, it's shrouded in mystery, but fans are tossing around ideas. Some think time travel and multiverse stuff might be in the mix, maybe even adapting the Deadpool kills the Marvel Universe storyline. Buckle up, because this one sounds like a wild ride with Reynolds as Deadpool and Jackman as Wolverine. Can't wait. And hey, remember the X-Force gang from Deadpool 2? Well, they're making a comeback. Colossus, Negasonic Teenage Warhead, Yukio, Russell, and our man Peter, played by Rob Delaney, are all set to strut their stuff again. But the buzz of the town is the juggernaut. He might be making a grand comeback in Deadpool 3. You remember Kane Marco, right? This Marvel villain first popped up in X-Men number 12. Now, the big question on everyone's mind is who's going to don the juggernaut suit this time? But hey, here's a cool nugget. There's a good chance Ryan Reynolds will be back at it. He rocked the juggernaut role in Deadpool 2, doing his thing in a motion capture suit. Fans and critics gave him a thumbs up for that performance, so it's like, why mess with a good thing? Ryan Reynolds brought his A-game and a good dose of humor to the juggernaut character in Deadpool 2, blending seamlessly with the film's irreverent vibe. Even though there's no official word yet on Juggernaut's return in Deadpool 3, the fact that Reynolds rocked the role before strongly suggests he might make a comeback. If he does, fans are in for a treat. Reynolds has a knack for making characters memorable, and his take on Juggernaut would likely add an extra layer of fun to the already stellar cast. And hey, with all this talk about time travel and multiverse stuff in the film, who knows? We might just get to see Reynolds pulling double duty, playing multiple juggernauts and Deadpools in the same scene. Now that would be a showstopper. We can also expect to see Juggernaut in a World War Hulk story. Let's see how he fits into that story. Buckle up for some World War Hulk action. So in this wild tale, Juggernaut, aka Kane, found himself on an X-Men squad trying to shield Professor Xavier from the Hulk's fury. Now, even with the mighty Sidorak gem recently in his possession, 
Kane couldn't unleash his full power in the initial Hulk showdown and got taken down real quick. Then, plot twist, Sidorak himself shows up and drops some truth bombs. As it turns out, Kane's own issues were holding him back, and Sidorak wanted him to embrace the power for selfish reasons, not hero stuff. After some soul-searching, Kane fully embraces his role as Sidorak's avatar and gets back in the ring with the Hulk, and this time, he's the one dishing out the beatdown. But the Hulk, being the clever guy he is, uses Kane's unstoppable momentum against him, giving the Hulk the chance to make a run for it. Kane, true to his style, refuses any thanks from Xavier and warns against sending anyone after him. Kane later faces off against Scar, the Hulk's son, who we have already seen in She-Hulk, but ends up getting defeated and sent packing into space. However, the main question is, will Marvel ever create a Juggernaut movie? Based on various Reddit discussions, it's evident that fans would be highly interested in a Juggernaut origin movie, but only if it remains faithful to the original character and doesn't portray him as a mutant, as he's only a mutant in the Ultimate Universe. To address your query, it's unlikely to happen anytime soon. Marvel already has a plan for the next five years, and we shouldn't anticipate a Juggernaut movie until the X-Men are properly introduced in the MCU. The nature of the Juggernaut is quite intricate, involving elements like demonic possession, a powerful gem, and a surprising array of abilities beyond just unstoppable momentum. If there were to be a Juggernaut movie, it seems crucial to handle it accurately considering the complexity of the character. Learning from the backlash experienced after X3's portrayal, it's clear they'd want to avoid a similar situation. Drawing a parallel with Deadpool, where Ryan Reynolds passionately fought for a faithful adaptation, a Juggernaut movie might follow a similar path. It could require someone with a strong commitment to doing justice to the character and the story, akin to Reynolds' dedication to getting the Deadpool movie made correctly. While a Juggernaut movie might be inevitable, ensuring it's done right could hinge on the perseverance and passion of someone championing the project. Exploring the intricate relationship between Kane Marco, aka Juggernaut, and his stepbrother Professor X could offer a compelling direction for a standalone film. Their history is marked by conflict and emotional complexity, providing rich material for a move to delve into their past and present struggles. While we await a dedicated Juggernaut movie, fans can find solace in the portrayal of Juggernaut in Deadpool 2. Many appreciate this version for its accuracy, surpassing the rendition in X3. Additionally, it showcases some of Juggernaut's lesser-known powers, such as an aura that drains the momentum of objects passing through it, explaining his bulletproof nature. If you haven't seen it yet, trust us, it's well worth watching. Well, that's it. For now, make sure that you like our video. Please share your views in the comments section with us. Subscribe to the channel to get updated, and do not forget to hit the bell icon to never miss an update. Thanks for watching the video, and we'll see you at the next one.